Good morning, folks. Found this site through Hummingbird27. He has his own pole shift theory. It's linked below. But I wanted to show you that while the North Pole is moving, like we've shown before, the South Pole is slowly trekking as well, up out of Antarctica, veering just west of where southern Australia is up there. And a quick FYI, here are the last 400 years of geomagnetic change. Just something to think about. Quick note on the ongoing ocean health index. Previous estimates for both warming and coral adaptation to it were off, off the wrong way for the coral. The Canary Islands quake list is still unmanageable, 410 tremors in just three and a half days. Virgin Islands ramping back up with two separate four magnitude quakes yesterday. Even France took a minor tremor. We had two north mid-Atlantic shakers above normal for the area, followed by another moderate Arctic quake, very high latitude. Mount Gamma Lama erupted twice yesterday as well, sending ash a kilometer high. All the record precipitation totals in the U.S. yesterday came out of Texas. Shifting to today, the Torcon has our brother MR2 in the red zone. They'll update again mid-afternoon. Make sure you check it out. Typhoon Samba danced west of Japan and took off at sunset, flying north towards Korea and impacting the southern coast about a half a day early. This region is prone to terrible floods. About the time yesterday's news was processing here on YouTube, Sagittarius fired a gamma burst in our direction. Looking at the solar wind, we expected a minor filament CME impact and we may have gotten it. No magnetic instability to speak of, but just enough evidence here to see that it came and went. While we still have no big flares, we are having some long duration activity picking up this morning. The Earth-Sun magnetic connection is shifting slowly. This morning we have the third connectivity point coming around to the Earth-facing disk, although we are still mostly connected to the far side. This was two days ago when NOAA finally labeled this region Beta Gamma. Well, you'll notice they have downgraded it back to Beta this morning, and that's 100% correct. This morning, the matching central negative umbra has dissociated and dissolved, so time to forget this region, right? Wrong. Let's watch her swing in, and as those central smaller spots fade, watch below the leading spot. We got some brand new ones. Already have both polarities. Let's keep an eye open there. Last 24 hours of SDO is pretty boring. Patience plays the role of our companion, waiting for powerful coronal hole streams from those dark zones. Eyes on the sky, folks. It's 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the news. Be safe.